coronavirus. It's going to disappear one day. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I am a person that really values personal freedom. Personal freedom, but dude, they've been doing vaccines since the fucking people were wearing fucking top hats, bola hats, and steamboats. That's how long vaccines have been around. It's not new. It's not like some conspiracy of like mandatory vaccines. Motherfuckers were riding horses when they fucking were giving out vaccines. My my guy. Right. Like, and it's the thing new. is, it's like you know, you want to talk about your freedoms? Good, thumbs up. But what about my freedom to not having the deep throat of ventilator? How about that? <laughs> I mean, so so now it says the Mississippi health officials say state will see a lot of COVID deaths in the coming days. Like, th thank you. This is wild. This is like, what what else can you and say? And I'm pretty sure that these health officials are Republicans because it's Mississippi. <laughs> okay? These are not so, libtards. So, They've got so, bodies that they're going to have in the fucking parking lots. So so I'm going to share that crazy photo that I'm going to produce of Matt. Um, shared on Twitter a little earlier, but like, so it says right here, the daily vaccination rates have tripled in the state of the past enough. So people are getting a vaccine. People are up. Oh, Jeb died. I'm getting my vaccine now. So that's kind of happening too. So, you know, unfortunately it takes somebody dying for you to finally do it. That's the, I don't want to wait until somebody die. I want, I just want to keep that from happening. I don't want that to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't know how you, I don't know how you think that the regimes, but that's how I think. I just want to like not have to, Deal with the prospect of somebody I know. Since I'm the evil one, um, I prefer to make sure that I hack. I mean, I'm talking about that that dank weed cough. <laughs> I'm trying to put that all in your motherfucking face, man. Let's get that virus. You know, let's get it. You know, so, spreading so because this headline, it's about so my I wanna, freedom. I want to show that like, even though people all oh, look at this headline, this headline. So I want to want to pop back and then share this crazy photo because these doctors. Are sharing his stories. They've been sharing his stories. That's now people don't give a fuck about the stories anymore because like Facebook can't make a commercial about it with the same fucking guitar, soft guitar music, with some like little kid playing like a drum and shit. You know, like that fucking bullshit commercial that Nike and like Dupont Chemicals were coming out last year. Remember them shits? Mm -hmm. They ain't playing none of that now. Fuck, like fuck you. You know. So right now it says Mississippi. So this tweet, Mississippi, this is where we are. 50 beds were installed here in a concrete garage. The federal government was sent overflow medical professionals to staff it. One of the last stop gaps between Mississippi and hospital system failure. So tell me, did it, Regina, is this what caught your attention, right? It was the fact that, like, these officials are using, like, they're using, like, some tough words right now. They're not just saying, oh, something might happen, uh, like, you know, three months Five. from now. To 10 days. Have, have any of you ever heard somebody tell you that, you know, they'll get back to you in five to 10 business days? It sounds like a long time, right? Yeah. It sounds a whole lot shorter when you're talking about the, the collapse of your, met, your state medical system. And what does that do? Just like, with the, just like what I just fucking said. Your GSW victims, for those that are uninitiated, gunshot wound. So I want to pull up the stats while you while you, you know you, you know, know people with uh with with different uh diseases, people with injuries. It's fucked, man. So I actually want to pull up like oh so we showed you this we showed you a real photo that people are sharing right now down in Mississippi off the hospital system they're out in the parking lot, you know where you like you know when you fucking like smoke a doobie or whatever like that's where they're gonna put fucking. Um, intensive care victims in. Um, so this 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 um, document actually has the, the quote of the feral, the hot, so pretty much what you're saying, the Mississippi hospital system could fail in 10 days. Um, so the federal government is rushing in. Um, so I want to pull up to the stats. This actually Anybody so, this watching is the photo right, right here. Anybody live, dead ass? Because normally I don't, I don't really put out calls for you to share this stuff and have other people watch it. But if you're watching this shit, you need to be spreading this shit. Because if we're not spreading this information, we're pretty much spreading the virus. Either way, the people that you know and love are going to find out this information one way or the other. It's going to be either through being infected or 
getting the information necessary to protect them from being infected. So because just like I keep fucking saying, so and I really wish that you guys would get it through your thick fucking skulls, is that every single time the virus passes from one person and then goes to another person and another person, you are running the risk of creating a new variant. Why? Because the virus exchanges uh, genetic code with each host. So every time it makes a stop, it becomes something different. And if it becomes something different enough, even the people who are watching this right now who have been vaccinated already, you are running the risk of having the vaccine that you've already taken be rendered powerless if you let it skip through enough people for long enough. But this that but it's that eventually that's the thing. We're now in a situation that we have to realize reality is situation because of the mishaps of Trump and like, you know, all these corporations hogging on the vaccines and we're only like I think like 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 a small percentage of the world has been vaccinated right now. Like like a hundred countries, about five percent of the population of a hundred countries have been vaccinated. It's like it's like we no were numbers. talking about that like it's when nothing. they were just talking we were but, talking uh, about this before they released the vaccines, but before they even started testing, and the company started, buy, uh, the country started buying up all of the vaccine vials, and it was like, oh, you think that you think that we're gonna be cool simply by hoarding it for ourselves? No, if you don't get every Tom, Dick, and Harry and Mary fucking vaccinated around the world, that virus is gonna skip around to enough people, and then you think that because your country is fully vaccinated. Let's just say the United States had a 97% vaccination rate, right? But yeah. you think because your people are inoculated, it's going to be all good. Yeah, we're going to open up our airports, yeah, and then you're going to go to another country and get sick because yeah, the virus why, has been hopping around from millions and millions of people yeah, that's why becoming a completely that's different why entity. situation in different countries like Chile and like different European countries, where, which actually are passing us in vaccination rates. They're still having ways but it's also like this is gonna be the reality because of the mishaps now we're gonna have this kind of like you know we are gonna have kind of up we have to do a vaccine like a year kind of thing this is gonna be the reality this is gonna be a new reality but it's unfortunate you have people who are so wild right now we can't even deal with the mask we can't even deal with the vaccine but these things are happening i want to i want to give up these spooky things that people really don't want to like the pe the, about the children pretty much the 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 pediatric the pediatric hospital um the children's of mississippi is also yep. full the host the children's hospitals full around the country um, children's hospitals filled you got you got this asshole in florida desantis talking about yeah when they look back on this they'll say that we actually took care of our kids you got the most you, you've got the most children hospitals full in the country so says another you got the photo. most pediatric covid cases that are worthy of being in a, in a hospital, you've got the most of those cases in the country, and you want to tell us, oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to look back and say, yeah, we definitely took care of our kids. No, fuck you. It's crazy for me. This is like, because I guess a lot of people probably watch Marvel or whatever, but like, this is like a variant. This feels like a variant of New York City. Instead of having the morgue trucks, you guys are having like fucking like park ICUs in the parking lot in the fucking parking garage. This is the altar. This is what you guys not dealing with the pandemic, dealing with the surge. You guys have weird like you no know, trailers. Me of the field triage that happens after like in, in a disaster movie. So and then they have like all of the people like in like out in the like outside on on cots. Yeah. After I mean, that, like a major earthquake or the alien. I mean, I mean that's that's exactly what happened in outbreak with Dustin Hoffman and Cuba Gooding Jr. They were up in the fucking tents outside. But this is what's weird about it because this year it's like almost our fault. It's not like um, we didn't know what's going on. We now know we had a year with this pandemic, more than a year and a half. We kind of have a footing of what's happening, what to deal with it, and people are still people like saying that it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, does it? Uh, so, so we had to do the virus segment, breaking news, because this is, this is flowing. People bringing the kids to school. People are worried about what's happening here, and, and the fact that the Delta variant is being a little more trickier with children. Um, that's the thing. The rumor that the kids couldn't get infected. It wasn't true. Kids still get the infection, but it wasn't that wasn't bad. But now this variant is actually 
being a little more potent in children when it comes yes, to long COVID. Killing people in their teens, twenties, and thirties at a much so, higher rate than the original variant. The because it's more variant. Because it's more variant. Because it spreads more. Um, so obviously, also, kids think. Yeah. Also, there are more receptors on the surface of the virus. Yeah. So the the virus has has a much easier time attaching to the ACE2 receptor than the original variation. It also uh, is much better at uh, replicating itself inside of a cell before it breaks through the cell. So you become uh, virulent 50% sooner than you normally would have. So uh, the original variant, the uh, you would really only start shedding it after six days. Now it's four, right? So your, the, your body is actually uh, generating and regenerating the virus at a much faster, much more efficient rate. So they were saying even people who have been vaccinated that aren't like sick because the vaccine, yeah. you know, keeps you out of the hospital, yeah. but you can end up <clears throat> passing it to other people because whereas before they were, they were shown uh, the, 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 the virus, the, the vaccine was shown to reduce the viral load in people who are vaccinated uh, to, to a degree that was just so significant that they were telling you that you should get vac vaccinated just to keep the viral load low enough so that you wouldn't spread it to other people. Yeah. But the Delta variant Let's has found that. a yeah. way to, yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill you, but I'm going to force the cells on, on, on the lining of your lungs. Yeah. I'm going to force those cells to make even more of me yeah. before we break out and kill the cell. Yeah. Oh, and now we got to worry about but, but, COVID psychosis because the Rona also attacks thing, right? similar but, cells but, in but your it's brain. It's interesting, but like I want to break it down because it almost feels like kind of like since like just to break it down in the most simplest term, it almost feels like a, a, a battle. We a battle a final boss in the old video game. Like a lot of times, you battle a final boss and, you, and you, it has tentacles and you you mm -hmm. bash the tentacles off, and then and you all of a sudden it has it. it has needles. You know, it has yep. needles. And then so a lot, it feels like people don't. And then it has understand. a fucking laser blast. Yeah, so people people just felt nowhere. that oh, that's, we're, we're done with the tentacles. Now I can go outside and like blow yeah. snot in people's noses and shit. Like no, it, 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 it wasn't blow over yet. Into people's noses. Yeah, exactly. That's that's really <laughs> intimate, man. That's that. I mean, it, I, I it was mean, over right away. That kind of shit, done, man. Like yeah, Corona's huh? the least of our worries. 